And that's oppressive. Ah, thank you. You see, that's, you, you, need to, you need to have those people behind you. <laughs> we have many then a former city council and also former mayor of the city of One of my very best personal friends. <laughs> we have Robert Kelly at the end, President of Dina, another personal friend. And I can, I, I can go around. We have Richard Brook, Reverend Stock and many other of our friends and supporters that are here that do not speak the language. To them I want to say a couple of things. Number one is welcome to this gathering. Welcome to be part of history. Chief Jackson, thank you my friend. Welcome to what we call a historical night. Not just because we are here, but because of the purpose of why we are here. Not really, but Everybody that you see standing behind me, men and women who have dedicated most of their life to the betterment of our city. Also, another dear friend, city assistant, city attorney, Rick Agustino, and abogado personal, Mia Carmen And many, many other people that, that I cannot see from here. To them, we also all not only are gratitude but our respect, but Tonight, again, it's not about me, it's not about anyone or any particular, it's about all of us coming together for a common goal, which is to elect somebody to be mayor of the great city of Lawrence, somebody who's going to share their vision, your vision, and who's going to work hard to move the city forward. I said to them that, I said to them that I not a big concern or preoccupied with the issue of being the first Latino man. It so happened that the historical people write, write about that. I'm occupied with being the very best man of the city ever had. That's what I want to do. Every time I have the opportunity, every time, or addressing the crowd. I have many, many good people who are behind me who do great work and work real hard in the campaign. I don't need to introduce Melody Bonilla, I don't need to introduce Elvin Alacon, the two guys that really, and this one, have carried me on the shoulder. You all know that. Yeah. Yeah. Right here. There are many other members. I can see Gary Jansen, and see Johnny Pareve, there are many other people that I can mention to you who have worked so hard to make this happen. But the MVP of this campaign, I'm going to repeat it, you want to get sick of hearing it, because it is the truth. His name is Joe Chow. And if, if somebody can walk you up here, I really would appreciate it if you can make you come up here. Joe Chow is the person, Lenny, can you walk you over here please, my friend? Lenny is that person that every single day you see him on Route 114 and we go back. Frente la Fuente. All this time. In the morning. In the afternoon. Shoot! In the afternoon. Every single day.
one of one of the things that have really, really impressed me, and I'm not going to mention Brooks. I'm not going to mention P.J. Lopez. I'm not going to mention Bill Malora because I don't want him to get in trouble with the white dog. <laughs> or Louis and everybody else. But there are some people that really impress you with the work that they do. And I'm going to mention a couple of people that are at a, at a very, very young age. They have helped this campaign in ways that you will not believe. But we have a policy in our campaign. If you are under 18, you do not pick up the phone, you do not stop a piece of envelope until you do your homework. Mm -hmm. And before I tell you about a couple of young people, I want to tell you about my very best friend. I have many good friends. I have many, many people who are loyal to us, loyal to me. There are two people that I would say, they are the most loyal people I have met in my life. Lenny Denman, Michael Fielding. You will not meet a most loyal person than that guy standing right there. Ustedes nunca van a conocer en su vida alguien más leal que Michael Fielding. But about the young people that I'm talking about, he happens to be standing here, he's one of them, Yonel Okendo, right there. Every day, every day out there, after he does his homework. We have Dianelli Roja as well as Crystal Roja. Sometimes they're not too happy, but they there every single day doing what needs to be done. And that makes a big difference because when a lot of young people drive by and see them working, they say, you know what, I can help too. And that's why all the young people are not involved because of them. And I want to proud them. I also want to proud my whole family. It's the guy that I used to call the vampire, and you know him, Marco, very well. I used to call him the vampire because we always saw him at the 10 o'clock. Lo veíamos nada más después de las 10, le llamamos el vampiro. But lately, he's been coming out earlier to help us. It's my good friend, Mali Dow. Where's Mali? Mali! Where's Mali? Mali has recruited a lot of people to help us, and Mali has also convinced a lot of people to support this campaign economically. We are running a grassroots campaign. We don't want big donations. We are not asking people from the outside to give us anything because when we win, we want to own the mayor's office to this group and to people like yourself, not to anybody else. I know that we have many members of the press here, and I appreciate you presence here. Very, very much. But you know me, I call it the way it is. I don't think we'd be here with a former council president, a former interim mayor. I don't think we'd be here with a candidate for mayor that got to the primary and came a little bit short. I don't think we'd be here with a council of large called Arbor, or council of morale who's around there. I don't think we'd be here with many of these guys with a history of being participating or participant of elected office. If it wasn't because the honest, fair reporting of the good and bad about us of a Rumbo newspaper. That's my opinion. I live with it and I'm responsible for it. And I'm glad that I told you because that's how I feel. All of you have a job to do. But they are the ones who have tried to bring us together instead of pulling us apart. And for you, Alberto and Daria, I am the most grateful. Whatever happened the third happened. We don't lose. To me, tonight, this is my victory night for these people in my family. Thank you, Alberto. Thank you, Alberto. Thank you, Alberto. We want to thank the candidates and the people who are here pasen al frente para una fotografía del lugar, por favor.